This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kim. I'm back with another tour review and today... Studio Series 86 Ultra Magnus, which I received yesterday. Uh, well, actually Monday, but I couldn't pick it up. And now, by the time this airs, we're gonna be Wednesday. Uh, so yeah, I just got this. And it's a standard Commander box big I did not have time to open it yet and I know that for some people I'm kind of early which so far DJC collectibles my sponsor has been fantastic for uh, pretty much every leader and above uh, studio series 86 figure I received two months earlier than expected sludge snarl uh, did that and then uh, ultra Magnus uh, so I hope this keeps happening with Studio Series 86 forever because it's fantastic. It's rare that I get a figure earlier than most people, uh, so I'm quite happy about that. So thanks for coming by. I hope you're going to enjoy this review. Before you do so, make sure I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectibles, my fantastic sponsor. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now let's roll the intro. Springer, UNRC Transform Autobot City. All right, and I'm going to start this off with the French word of the day. 37, which means 37, and that's the number of years I've been waiting to have a mainline Ultra Magnus that does not have a white prime wearing armor. So that's a dream come true. I do have the Magic Square Legend Scale Delta Magnus that kind of does that. Well, not kind of, it does that. It's a Ultra Magnus that transforms into a, uh, well, a Delta Magnus that just goes from truck to robot, robot to truck without having a, uh, a prime wearing armor. But this is what I've been wanting since I saw the cartoon. I mean, I did enjoy the G1 toy a whole lot. It was fun. We swapped Ultra Magnus with Optimus Prime sometimes wearing the armor. Like it, it was a toy with a lot of playability. But cartoon accuracy is something that's important to me now. And this guy is the answer to that need I needed that so i simply cut up the uh well let's take a look at the box that's you know a scene from the movie where he's shooting uh just before or after he doesn't have time to deal with something you have nice headshot you have all of this technical information uh 43 steps the backdrop the cab mode with the blast effect uh, the gun accessories, a display that you can uh, put cars on top. But the main import, the most important thing for me is that you can fit a car inside uh, a matrix. That could have been skipped, but it was in the movie. And then the fantastic robot mode. And then on top, well, you have another shot on the side here. And you have squat underneath, but on top you have the, or I guess, no, well, that's the proper angle. Transformers the movie and then you have the escape shuttle. I think that's that part here is what's left after the Decepticon um, destroyed three quarter of the ship. So yeah, so I'm gonna open this now. Like I said, I have not been playing with this. I don't know what I'm getting into. Oh, I kind of half expected him to be packed in uh, alt mode. That's a nice surprise. And he's missing his ear stack, so I'm guessing that's an add-on accessory. Uh, nothing left in the box except this piece here. And then you have the instructions, which are probably... Oh, they're not a poster, they're on the long side. So it starts here. And then you have everything that you need to transform this fantastic character. There you go. So I think I'm gonna have to read that uh, for this one. You have Ultra Magnus, 
Then you have the accessories. And then if you move that, you have the actually very beautiful backdrop of the uh, shuttle with a lot of damage. Uh, nice addition. I think Casbro is learning from its mistake though because they used to give us two images. This was an image which you know contained all the holes for all the plugs and then you had an intact image. So now they're saving costs and just giving us a piece of cardboard uh, which is fine by me. So now let's remove this. I don't have a lot of room for a figure this size. So now these aren't the greatest scissors in the world, but they're going to do the job. There you go. I just want to make sure, hold on, that there isn't anything in the back. No, there isn't. And I'm going to apologize up front. I don't have... Most of my collection, like you saw my white wall in the introduction, um, most of my collection is still in storage because I'm still expecting some dumbass construction company to, you know, do the job that they've been hired for by my insurance company. Except that there's delays. For whatever reason, been waiting since June and it's super annoying. So, all right, let's take a look at these wonderful accessories. You have this blast effect here with it's it looks like the omega supreme color maybe a little paler but it's painted around it so that's cool and plugs this or maybe not this one yeah maybe more this one you know nice one too and then this one and then this one and this one so a more smoky uh, blast effect. That's pretty cool. And then you have two extras, small one, just like we had with Omega Supreme and Guardian Robot and a couple other figures. You have the missile launchers. Oh, and that's actually pretty cool. They they don't launch, but they separate. That's awesome. I did not expect that. I am very pleased with that. It increases the playability for a kid. Which I'm I'm kind of hoping and not hoping that the kids get this. Like I'm if a kid gets this and then he's careful with it, he's gonna have tons of fun with it. But if he's gonna break it, then it should have went to a collector. This is fantastic. I mean it doesn't launch with a trigger, but it's a separate thing. Wow. Wow, that's impressive. And then you have the big blaster which is clear plastic painted silver. You have a clear bit here, a clear bit here. So I'm guessing those are, this is a connector or uh, if you want to store it in alt mode. This is blast effect compatible. It's really good. Nice color silver with the huh, white handle. I don't know if it's, is that painted or if it's another piece that they kind of wedged in you know like close over because there's a little line all around maybe that separates in a way we'll see in the instruction and then you have this smaller blaster oh again white handle clear connector blast effect it's a nice gun nice silver great job and then you have uh, well the stacks or the ears or the antennas all right, let's just put them there for now. And now let me open this up in accelerated frames. All right, so here we have Ultra Magnus. I'm going to add the ear stack now. I keep saying stack, but I don't know if that's the proper word. They're about the same size on each side, so I guess it doesn't really matter which ear you choose, but if it does, I'm sure everybody's gonna let me know in the comments. Receptor, tell Blaster to radio prime for reinforcement. 
All right, so my first impression is that he is absolutely amazing. Let's uh, move him forward a little bit. Get a good look at this uh, head sculpt. So right here, you have nice light piping with uh, the... Uh, I don't know, I can't really show it unless I get some light behind it, but... Uh, yeah, I guess you can see it a little bit. So that's always fun. You have nice uh, color scheme, like the clear window here. You can see the matrix inside. Um, I could have used, uh, you know, not translucent, but color plastic instead. Uh, maybe a, I don't know, I, I'll have to check the movie again, but I'm not sure if he's, uh, if he was red like that. Blur, you can help me alert the others. You can see the springs, that's a little odd but it's not a deal breaker. You have the nice arms, the nice Autobot logo. On the other side, you have that deco. So they didn't, uh, you know, paint that over. So that's different. That's cool. Big, strong hands. Uh, I really like the look. He, he's a good weight. Uh, the waist area, you have his belt that moves around. Different from the Siege mold for sure uh, nice legs that's uh, I'm hoping like so far I don't have yellowing in my area like any of my figures and stuff like that so I'm hoping that this is gonna be the same for this white looks good nice big feet looks really good painted uh, tires that's always good looks to be rolling pretty good that little spruce mark here so that's a little sad same thing here that could have been handled a little better at the factory, but overall, God, he looks amazing. I've been waiting a long time for a figure like this. Now, the first thing that they show you in the instructions, you can actually move this. You can remove the arms. Give me a second, I don't wanna break it. All right, basically you have this here you have this red tab here that you can move to uh, kind of liberate the arm so it's like this you push on it I don't know if I'm showing it right this part here you push it back and then you pull the arm off like this you can do the same thing on the other side and then I'm guessing the legs are gonna have a yep you have that red mark here pull on the leg and there you go you can remove the parts if you want to recreate that traumatizing scene anyway and then after that you just slide it back down and put it back in and it's pretty solid so no complaint there slide that back in There you go. And then your arm is all stable again. Now, I forgot to remove this piece of cardboard here. That's for stability in the box. I'm assuming. And this uh, didn't connect properly. So maybe I have them on the wrong side. Or maybe my copy is just freaking loose. Which would be terrible. Oh. does appear to be a little loose maybe it, it goes on the other side ah well the ball joint just got removed all right i'll come back there does seem to be i don't know if just me or if i'm colorblind but this one here looks to be a little shorter than the other uh same thing on the other side so i put the short uh one in front and it seems to be holding better and then after that you have well, the head, which kind of makes sense that you can remove easily because uh, that's giving him the illusion, or giving you the illusion that he exploded, which is terrible. There is storage on the figure right here. So if you want to take this gun here and put it there. Unfortunately, you can't store both. 
but it's an option. You can have this. You have port holes on the side like this. And I'm not great at posing stuff, so sorry. But these can hold the big blast. So that's pretty neat. And then you have the big gun. And then you can have, can you put this in there? Oh, if you want, you could, no. No, it doesn't, but this works. So there you go. I wish they would have made that the thing here could go on top, but you know, this is, I actually really like that this is a two-parter piece. So Man. far, I absolutely love this figure. And uh, I wish the arm would be a little uh, tighter, like they, they do remove easily, but nice ratchet. All right, how about we do that? Let's do the articulation, which I'm guessing is a lot, but just want to make sure. There's a lot of tab and I can hear stuff popping because I don't know what I'm doing right now, but the head will rotate on a ball joint and it goes up and down, but he's looking at his chest. So that's pretty cool. And you can get a kind of a, let's say he's listening to music and he wants to jam a little bit. You have a little back and forth. So that's pretty cool. Oh, forgot the gun. You have, uh, well, the arms will go up like this and it will rotate on a right, nice ratchet to give you that Ferris wheel. You have soft ratchet at the elbow and in the hand, it's kind of hard to get to, but it, do, it would rotate, but you do have you have all individual fingers let me check now you have three at the bottom and one which uh, is double jointed right here so that's pretty cool you have your merry-go-round no problem it's really good now you have that skirt that goes up and down so if I go like this, can I get almost, oh, I'm going to count it. Yeah, you get your Johnny Cage. That's pretty good. I don't know if Magnus was that flexible back then, but he is now. Uh, so yeah, you have your kick forward all the way there. Kick back if you lift the skirt like this really good and then you have a little more than 90 for a bend you have your ankle tilt but you don't have a rocker nope no rocker for you sorry mixing franchise oh man he looks good and then you can get the matrix out let me just check quite easily lift this up and this springs out and then you have it's wedged in there pretty good same mechanism as you have with uh, Earthrise Prime uh, the two pegs on the side and give me a quick second there you go uh, it's a hard plastic with clear in the middle and since everything is in storage, I don't know if this is the same mold as we had before. I'm thinking it's not, but it kind of wouldn't make sense like that you have one matrix that fits all like Rodimus and everything so that you can kind of, for people like Ultra Marcus and Input to do stop motion, you could use just one matrix and have the leaders pass it around, you know, and then you close that you hold it and then you fold that back down and there you go that's actually pretty cool the spring loaded but that's going to be cool until the spring breaks like i said i don't have much to compare because everything is in storage but i do have one figure mod fan roller 
and he's about the lux size he's a masterpiece figure for a roller but he's about the same size as sideswipe stun streaker maybe a head taller maybe a trail breaker so yeah well actually i do have another figure but she's still in the box well actually if you put him in front and you figure yeah he's about yeah he's so he's the lux size even though he's a masterpiece figure uh, check my review on this guy he's actually pretty cool and she's gonna be my next one all right and now for transformation i won't be showing it on screen ah uh, do i show it on screen i hate doing that but i think i don't have a choice here i have to show this all right let's go come on rc let's go <sighs> Well, I want to apologize to the community because this was painful. It's not a bad transformation. It's just hard to do with your arms wrapped around a camera. Honestly, face to face, you know, without this here that you don't see. Easy transformation. Like not easy, fun, actual fun. Yeah, but there's a lot of panel popping and he could have been a little more stable. But overall, I'm very happy with this, uh, uh, this truck mode. Uh, mainly because you can fit a car here and if my collection wasn't stored I definitely have like a Sunstreaker or a Sideswipe in there maybe even a Trailbreaker maybe yeah I think it would might be a tight fit but it could fit uh, weapon storage here uh, that's up to you uh, the I thought uh, these connectors here would be used but apparently that's just for the back in robot mode because you know there's a oh well does it fit nah it's too big so yeah i really thought it was gonna go like this but they show you to put it like that backwards uh, i guess that's a storage option uh, and uh i like it um there's a lot of panel to line up make sure the wheels are popped in properly and i have to say that because of this here where you fold the, the knees outward to form the trailer. It lifts them a little bit and he doesn't roll. Well, uh, no, I can see the wheel rolling, but it's not like a super smooth uh, rolling on this part. Uh, this here does. Uh, if you press on it and this uh, in front uh, rolls fine, but all the wheels are painted. They all have the same joint. You know, they don't have that little mushroom peg thing that everybody hates. Uh, he cleans up really nice. Uh, and then you have the playability of lowering this. Get a car inside, which I think is fantastic. And if you want, you can unhook the top. And have him, well, remove the gun. And then you can lower this. And uh, there's a gap, you know, but you could pretend a car for a kid, no problem. There, That's what they're gonna play with. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of good engineering in this transformation. Uh, you know, a lot of panel folding, like this, this seems to be bent. Uh, not permanently, but you know, I could have done a better job. And it doesn't wanna stay straight. Uh, the other side uh, looks fine. Uh, the stacks move. I have to say that uh, during transformation, this, you probably you saw it maybe depending on my editing, but this, actually, yeah, you're supposed to do it like that, but this falls off quite easily. Like, like there you go. It wants to come off very easily. So, but it's nice. I like, I'm still happy that this guy does not have a white prime. Like I said, it's not a bad thing. It's just cartoon accuracy. This is better. And I'm not gonna try to recreate the animation scene uh, or the animation sequence where uh, you transform. And I know they showed that in the, the demo reel of Ultra Magnus that uh, you could do that. Uh, it wasn't a demo reel, it was just uh, some screenshots, but you could recreate that transformation I will not do so because I'm terrible at it. But this is a fantastic Ultra Magnus. So about the price point, that's the big debate. Or at least this wasn't a big debate for him as much as it was for Rodimus Prime. There's more engineering in this one. The weight is good. 
maybe he's a little heavier than Rodimus Prime, uh, but I haven't played with that figure in a while, and it's just fine. I think for the level of engineering, all the accessories we get, two guns, um, the only thing is I wish these would have been glued, because that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, they should stay in when they uh, you transform them, but uh, they don't, so I'm just going to glue them on the figure, and uh, hopefully that's uh, going to fix that, because that's annoying. You move the head and it pops off, but no, I like this figure, the, uh, you know, all the nice uh, blue, the white red here uh, standard ultra magnus color the autobot logo here and here uh, the front of the cab looks really good toy hacks is probably gonna do something about those windows uh, these here translucent stuff i thought they were moving away from tra translucent stuff but i guess that's just for legacy not for the studio series 86 uh, but the grill is nice could use a little more color you know uh, different headlights it's always kind of silvery but uh, overall, yeah, it's a big, uh, big cab, um, roughly the same size as Earthrise Prime. And then you have like those little uh, fuel tanks here. They're kind of, you know, from underneath here. It's just a uh, hollow flat, uh, you know, it's not an actual fuel tank. So, but uh, I don't mind. No, I really am happy with this figure. It's everything I've ever wanted. Yeah, 37 years have I wanted a Ultra Magnus like that, and now I'm guessing we're gonna get a Generation Select Delta Magnus repaint soon enough. I hope they don't do the Shattered Glass thing again, like I really want a Delta Magnus, but if we don't, yeah, I'm, I'm cool with just this fantastic Ultra Magnus. So there you go. Uh, like I said, sorry I can't compare it to anything, uh, because uh, everything's in storage, uh, but it's still, uh, it's, wow. I'm impressed. Honestly guys, if you've been not sure about getting this figure uh, because uh, it's a commander class and the previous one was a leader this is way worth it absolutely worth the price point so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this review if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment i love reading those keep coming back i have more on the way and remember nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole take care